Hey, what's up, nerds? How's everybody doing today? Hopefully, everybody's having a good day. I'm excited to be doing a head shave. I've got about four days of growth, so we're going to get right into it. The soap I'm using today is Soap Commander Passion. This is the last, uh, my wife got me this soap set. This is the third and last soap set from the Christmas gift she got me. So, I'm using that today. So, I've already got some water on my head, going with the Maggard 30mm synthetic brush. Had that soaking, well not soaking, but just dip that in some water for, a minute, for just a little bit. I'll just go straight to the tub and load it. This one has a very, very nice scent to it. A uh, warm, spicy scent. Not overly spicy, but just a nice warm scent. Um, and a good strength of scent on this one. I know I talked about Soap Commander and the strength of scent last time I... Uh, one of the last few videos I did. And this one has a good strength of scent to it, so I'm happy about that. And, uh... Get a little more water in that. That was about a... 15 second load maybe so national champs roll tide Alabama won the national championship um, what a great game um, pretty uh, the, the tell of two halves the first half for Alabama was ugly it was their offense was terrible um, defense played good, I thought, played decent for how poorly the offense played. Um, I know they gave up 13 points, but Georgia had the ball more than twice as much as Alabama had it. They ran um, twice as many plays as Alabama did, and for Alabama to only give up 13 points, I thought their defense um, played well to do that. So fun game to watch, really fun, really exciting, really happy Alabama made the switch at quarterback, um, sparked some life into their team, their defense made good adjustments to come out and shut down Georgia in the second half. Now, if we only had a kicker, that game wouldn't have been nearly as exciting um, as it was since he missed two field goals. But, really fun game to watch. Really happy. And also, my, uh, I mean, I never doubted for a moment. Um, got a little uh, lather up on my camera. But my red tip, my Gillette red tip, and my gem featherweight staying at home. They're safe and sound. Tucked away nicely in their beds. And I'll uh, be adding the Parker to my uh, shave den. So thanks, John, Common Sense Shaver. Um, he contacted me with that idea. It was a great idea. It was fun to do. Um, and uh, I had fun. Either way, even if Alabama would have lost, it was a fun thing to do. And, and uh, So thank you, John, for contacting me about that. Alright, guys. That is a good lather. Um, Good slickness, and still off the tub. It has a good strength, well, not good. I mean, medium, better, better than some of the Soap Commander uh, scents. And uh, I don't, I can't really smell it. You know, a really strong soap strength of scent. I'll be able to smell even when I have it lathered. 
up on the top of my head and I, I don't get that unless I smell it off the brush. It smells really nice. But really good lather. So plenty in the brush still and good flick good uh sheen to it. I think there's gonna be good moisture content in it. Um, still working on my bowl lathers, they're still not very good. I just, uh, I don't know. Lathering on your head or face, you get the feel of it, you get to feel the lather, you get to feel the, the bristles, it's just a fun experience. So, alright, going with the Rockwell. 6C plate 5 this time. There you can see the 5 down there plate 5 with the Kai blade on its fourth head shape so we'll see how it does this is number four and uh, that's more than I usually push a blade and so we'll see how it goes oh man that's handling it no problem plate 5 is uh, so far it doesn't feel too overly aggressive. Um, in my opinion, plate five is less aggressive than a uh, R41. So people have used these. If someone who's used these and an R41, um, wants to give me their input down in the comments please let me know what you think but this does not fill and maybe it's just because it doesn't have the same amount of blade fill but this does not definitely does not feel as aggressive as an R41 And I gotta say, just off this first, um, first little bit of this first pass, really, really impressive how the blade longevity on these Kai's. I mean, it is not tugging, not pulling, feels really smooth. Um, just having no problem whatsoever with this four days of growth yeah no no problem whatsoever Now we'll see if the uh, efficiency is there. Feels like it's taking it down really well and looks like it is. Man, that is. Really nice and smooth.
Man, this Rockwell is impressive, and, and the Kai Blade is very, very impressive as well. This is a... E each time I use the Rockwell, I'm uh, more and more impressed by it, you know, which is nice. There's absolutely zero buyer's remorse on it. It is it is smooth, comfortable, the weight of it, the grip on the handle, the look of it, um, the finish, the glide, the smoothness of it. I mean, it's just really, really nice. And so far, every task I've asked of it, it's performed beautifully. It's a head shave, it's a face shave, plate five. Um, just really nice. Really, really nice. And this Kai Blade is absolutely amazing. Um, to be feeling this smooth um, and uh, just gliding right right along no issues whatsoever on its fourth head shave is awesome definitely something feathers can't do for me honestly no other blade um, No other blade is this smooth on this many head shaves. Now they are quite a bit more expensive. So some might say they better outperform everything else because they are quite a bit more expensive comparatively. So
and this is still probably one of the fir smoothest first passes I've ever had. Um, plate 5 might be my go-to plate setting uh, for head shaves. Super efficient, still very smooth, not harsh at all. I'm definitely going to have to, I know Abe uh, commented on one of my videos and I thought I had mentioned maybe in the video saying plate six. I didn't, I didn't think I did. I was like, well, maybe I said it because he said in the comment he put plate six on a head shave and then did like these scared face emoji type things. And, uh, I asked him, like, man, did I, did I really say that? Just squeezing out the excess of the brush. And just kind of paint it on, pat it on there. Kind of have a Andy the Northern Shaver style. Um, I said, did I really say that? I guess I might have. I, I get carried away sometimes and don't realize what I'm saying. And he put, no, you didn't say that. That's just what I want to see. <laughs> so, um... But, after using plate 5 and feeling how, um, how mild plate 5 is, not mild, but how non, it's not harsh, it doesn't feel harsh at all. It, it's very efficient, I can tell it's uh, a little more aggressive than 4. But it does not feel harsh by any means. So, plate six. Head shave coming soon. I'm just going to do a very quick touch up pass because there's. I feel very little. I've noticed I've always spent um, more time on the back of my head during touch-up passes and clean-up. And uh, the back of my head stays smoother longer, it feels, than the top part of my head up here. So I'm going to just do a little more up here, even though it feels really smooth, just to make sure. Not spend a lot of time, just a little bit of time. And that is really efficient. That is amazing. That this is this is my best head shave ever. There's no doubt about it. This is the most smooth, efficient. Effortless head shave. Maybe part of that is just my tech technique as a wet shaver is getting better. Um, that probably plays partly into it. But having the right gear for the right job. The right gear to do the job definitely is a big factor. And uh, so far for me, plate five on the Rockwell 6C with the Kai blade has been the, mo the smoothest the smoothest and most efficient 
shade and close, super, super close. What's amazing is it doesn't feel um, scary at all. There's no with the Mule Mula R41. There's always a little bit of nervousness. Always just a touch of like at any minute a mess up and you're going to pay for it. This is a very forgiving razor. It, it doesn't feel scary at all. Now I know why a lot of guys I talked to before I purchased one of these have said it's the last razor they put in their shave den. This is they, uh, this cures their uh, need to keep searching for the perfect razor. No, I still think it's fun to get and try different things, so I'm not saying I'm done, because you never know. The quest for the perfect shave is always out there. But that was a great shave. Rockwell 6C. Each time I use it, I'm, I'm blown away. So, I'm just going to do a head rinse and I'll be right back. We'll see you in just one sec. Alright guys, we're back, going with Allen Block. Um, don't expect much due to how smooth that shave felt, and there's absolutely zero. There's absolutely zero feedback. <laughs> that was an amazing shave, there's no doubt about it. Um, Soap Commander performed well, always performs well for me. I, I really like their, I, I don't know, it's a year mileage may vary thing. They just, it, it just seems to perform well for my skin type. I, I don't know, some guys probably don't like their uh, soap base, which is fine. It just works for me. I wish it had a stronger strength, a stronger scent strength. It's a really nice scent. Most of their scents are really nice. Everything I've smelled of there smells really good. I just wish they were all stronger. But, it is what it is. Alright guys. Um, Rockwell 6C Plate 5 with the Kai Blade on its fourth head shave. Absolutely amazing. Um, just awesome. I know, I know I've said that probably each time I've used this razor so far. But it just keeps getting better and better. Um, just keeps getting more efficient with the different blades I've used in it. Just really, really good. So, um, yep, that's where we're going to end this video. I'll finish up the rest of the stuff off camera. Going with some witch hazel uh, once this dries on a little bit. And then I'll be finishing it off with some of the aftershave balm. And I usually kind of do the Cincy Shaves method where I put a little bit of water in my hand as well so it thins it out just a little bit. So, Alright guys, thanks for watching this. Hopefully you learned something. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. 
Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos and learning something. Please keep feeding me back comments. I learn a lot from them. Um, cutting down the time on this video a little bit, so I'm happy about that. So, roll tide, be safe, be kind. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.